Hi, my name is Akonde Jacob Ozove here and I'm a technical consulting engineer with the Cisco Tax Server Virtualization Team. In this video, I describe how to configure Secure LDAP on UCS Manager. I recommend you visit an earlier video on standard LDAP configuration. Please find the link to that video in the description section of this video. Starting with the same scenario as in the standard LDAP configuration video, this implementation has the necessary adjustments to support secure LDAP configuration. Set up a DNS server allowing the use of domain names for the LDAP server instead of an IP address on UCS Manager. Ensure that the appropriate A record have been configured to point to both the LDAP server and the UCS Manager domain IP addresses. Configure Windows Certificate Services on the LDAP server, enabling certificate generation for secure LDAP communication. The generated certificates, root and intermediate, can be used to create a trusted point on UCS Manager. To configure UCS Manager to interact with a pre-configured DNS server, access the UCS Manager web interface. In the Navigation pane, click the Admin tab, Expand All, under Communication Management drop-down, select DNS Management, click on Specify DNS Server. Impute the DNS Server fully qualified domain name or IP address and click OK. Next, create a trusted point. Click on Key Management. Select Trusted Point and Add. In the Name field, type in your preferred trusted point name and paste in your certificate chain which you can get from your Windows Active Directory LDAP Administrator. The certificate chain is the certificate information for the trusted point on UCS Manager. For this lab, a self-signed certificate is used, generated from the Windows Server instance running Active Directory and saved in a text file. The self-signed certificate has also been concatenated with the root certificate from the same server to form a certificate chain. Note that the entire content of the Base64 encoded x.509cer file starting from the begin certificate to end certificate needs to be copied. Then immediately on the next line must be the next certificate starting from the begin certificate to the end certificate in cases where multiple certificates are used. Paste the copied content into the certificate chain field and click OK. To configure LDAP to use the certificates, navigate to User Management, Expand Authentication. Since you need to make changes to the LDAP provider setting within the Video Test Authentication domain, it is recommended to first change the Video Test Authentication realm from LDAP to Local. Navigate to LDAP, LDAP Providers. Since the previously configured LDAP provider was set up using an IP address, you need to remove it from the Test Providers LDAP Provider group and delete it from the LDAP Providers section. Create a new LDAP provider using the fully qualified domain name of the LDAP server configured on the DNS server. The example used in this video is ldapserver.videotest.local. Click on the Enable SSL checkbox to enable secure LDAP. Do not attempt to change the port number here to 636 as UCS Manager uses start TLS for encryption over the regular LDAP port number 389. UCS Manager uses a TLS session on port 636 at the background for SSL, but the initial connection starts unencrypted on, on 389. All other settings in Secure LDAP remain the same as the previous regular LDAP configuration. Select Yes in the Start CLS warning page to disregard the warning and submit changes. Add the newly created LDAP provider to the Test Provider's LDAP Provider groups. Next, navigate to Authentication domain and set the Video Test Authentication realm back to LDAP. Ensure that the appropriate provider group, Test Providers, is selected. Now, Secure LDAP has been successfully configured on UCS Manager. To verify this, attempt to log in to UCS Manager using one of the configured user accounts. Select your domain and proceed to login. Test user 1 login is successful over secure LDAP. Thanks for watching.